What's up everyone, Enzo here. I know I've been gone for a while, guys. I just got busy with a lot of work and whatnot. I'm really just making excuses here, but I missed doing this, so I'm gonna give it another run and jump right into a career mode with Inter Milan. I've been playing this the last few days and I'm having a lot of fun. I think Inter are gonna be really good this year with Conte at the helm. Just signed the Belgian beast Lukaku. Uh, I recorded this gameplay a couple weeks ago, so and I'm just commentating now. So the transfers are going to be a little funky. I'm definitely trying to bring in Lukaku in the game too, but in real life, the Inter Milan have just signed, the Nerazzurri have just signed the Belgian beast. I think he's going to be excellent in this team. We're going to go around here and shift, try to find the three... 5-2 that Conte plays with. It was a little difficult. It took me a little shifting around because his exact formation isn't really in the game. He doesn't really play with a number 10 per se, a cam in behind like that. So I had to shift some things around. But I think Lukaku is going to be excellent in this Milan team playing then that counter attack with Conte. I think a big part of his failing at United was they wanted him to be the classic target man number nine in the box and I don't know if that's necessarily where he excels remember when he was scoring you know 25 goals or whatever it was a couple seasons ago at Everton a lot of that was on the counter attack and I think that really is where he is at his best playing that fast paced counter attack style even though he is a big guy I really think that's where he's going to excel I, I who knows I could be wrong but I'm excited to see him in Serie A. It's nice to see someone other than Juve bring in a big name. And so we have the list right here. Lukaku, Dzeko, Lazaro, Godin. Uh, so Inter in real life have already brought in Lukaku. The Dzeko deal is close. They've brought in Lazaro and Godin and a free transfer. Who, in my opinion, is still one of the best center backs in the world. Even at the age of 33, I think he is now. So for a center back that doesn't rely on a lot of you know, physical attributes per se. He's not necessarily known for um, pace or an athletic attribute. It's more his timing and awareness and just reading of the game that makes him such a great center back. So I think he's going to be excellent sitting in the middle of that three. I would assume, I haven't seen that much of them in preseason. I would assume it's going to be Godin in the middle with Skriniar and Devry. Skriniar on the right, Devry on the left, maybe. That would be the back three. We have some other major business to attend to because as we all know, um, Icardi has basically been told to get lost by Conte. That one might be wrapping up soon. Nangolan has gone back to Cagliari. I think that's great for Nangolan. Go back to the city that loves him, to the, to the place that, you know, he really grew up a lot. I think that's a great fit for him, a great option. Conte didn't want the drama in Milan, so I think that's a that's a good move on both sides. Perisic, I believe, has been loaned out to Bayern at this point, so we're probably going to be letting him go as well. Um, you know, but Icardi's the main story here. Uh, Conte just doesn't want any, you know, diva-type athletes in the dressing room. I don't blame him. He wants to start from scratch and build in that real gritty winning mentality. He doesn't have time for a Wanda Neres in the dressing room. If any of you know, that's Icardi's wife and manager and is known for causing a lot of problems in the Italian media. Also, we're going to add Barella and Sensi, who I almost completely forgot about uh, when I first started this career mode. Um, may not be household names to people who are not familiar with Serie A or the Italian national team, but Sensi is basically looks like he could be a clone of Verratti. Maybe that's a little over the top, too much high praise, but he looks like an excellent player, reads the game great, has a Beautiful touch on that right foot. Barella is a box-to-box -box beast. Uh, since he's only around 23 years old, I believe Barella might only still be 21. There's a time that I know, I think Liverpool wanted him at some point. Um, I think all kinds of, all, all kinds of the big, all the big clubs throughout Europe wanted this kid at some point, but I'm really happy both Sensi and Barella stayed in Milan. We're going to go ahead here, or stayed in Italy, I should say, and Milan's a good spot for them to learn under Conte. We're going to go ahead and sell Jao Mario, who I believe is technically still part of Inter, but uh, I don't really see him getting a lot of time under Conte. I don't know. I'll have to double check that one. I don't think he officially got moved on. Uh, that's kind of bizarre, but he's going to go to PSG for 26 million euro. We will take that all day long. Jump into the International Cup burst. Benfica here, who just lost their wonder boy themselves. Zhao Felix has looked absolutely phenomenal so far. Looks like he could be worth every bit of 126 million euro. They might be 
hopefully he'll stay there. I don't, I don't, it's kind of a bummer for these teams. I could relate. I'm a Roma fan. So when I see these other teams that are kind of like a few steps below, I, I mean, I'd personally say Atletico is an elite team in the world one of the best because they've been in the Champions Welcome League the twice recently the and they're always Europe. such a tough out in Europe they were really unlucky to lose to Juve this past year so I would love to see them to hold on to Jao Felix for years to come but make a long story short I wouldn't be surprised if they also sold him for 300 million you know in a, in a three years time the way this kid's been playing so far but we are going to jump right into this game here right off the kickoff only where is the timer right here we are fifth minute of the game Moja Balero probably not going to be with Inter may have already been moved on but Politano spins inside on that left foot he shoots snipes the top left corner we are right back in the game have been slacking off playing FIFA lately but our skills are still here at least for the time being it might have been a bit lucky but we will take that I don't know if I'm talking about lucky. That was a great goal. Let's give ourselves some credit. Sniped it into the top corner. We're getting the rust off a little bit. Versalico, who again, I don't... I got to double check some of these guys. I haven't been watching... I've seen a couple preseason games here and there. I don't think Versalico's in the picture at Inter. Actually, now that I think about it, I, I'm almost positive he's not. I can't remember where he went offhand. I think it was somewhere a little... It, it wasn't somewhere where you would think of. But anyway, Grimaldo back here. Chevy on the left. Handanovic with a very lackadaisical save. That is not your way to ingratiate yourself to Conti. Will not be happy with that lackluster effort. Just kidding though. Handanovic is an excellent keeper. Been one of the best in the world for a long time now. Doesn't always get the credit because Inter haven't been in Europe much lately. But the old man still got it. Benfica. Chervi again on that left side. That is an impossible skill when the ball's cutting across to you. Like when you let the ball run across your body and try to cut it on the opposite foot that is a ridiculous skill Politano again gonna work the break Azamoa in here to Lataro. Lataro cuts inside and that is a mile over the net we might have to pull you right out of the game Lataro. that is an embarrassment but now he look Conti is pissed right now but he looks like he's gonna be an excellent player too it took him a while to get going last year but he was he had a lot of good moments here and there I think he will definitely grow into the side well. Still only 20, 21 years old. Maybe he can play in behind uh, Lukaku or Jeku when they get the when he gets the chance. But right back the other way, Benfica off the woodwork, and we get away with another one, another cross by. What are they working on this in practice? Let the ball roll across and cut it back with your left foot. Ridiculous skill. That would have been one heck of a goal. Inter coming back here the other way. Terrible giveaway by Brozovic. Pizzi shoots just wide and we are playing with fire all day long here in the first half. Very lucky to be up 1-0. Conti is going to have some words of rage for the team at halftime. Not going to be happy. Azamoa play spread brilliantly by Inter. Azamoa on the wing. It's going to cut in onto his unfavored. No, keeps it on his left. Borja! Azamoa into the middle. Vecino. Vecino does everything right on his left. Shoots. Very tame effort right at the goal. Vecino not exactly known as a goal scorer. Has come up with a few though in some good spots. Memorably against Tottenham last year. Lataro on his left. Snapshot. Quick save. Nice save by the keeper. Azamoa. We are putting on some pressure here almost towards the end of the game. 1-0 in the 87th minute. Azamoa, is he going to bring it all the way back? No, he's going to go back inside to Brozovic. Brozovic into Vecino, the Uruguayan. Where is he going to look? Spreads play to the Croat. Versalico, back post. Miranda, and that is a defender's finish if I've ever seen one. Miranda, that is absolutely brutal. You should be ashamed with that effort. Get back on defense. Benfica coming back the other way. See, we got some stoppage time here. Two minutes. Benfica, they're going to work something, or are they just going to let time run out like a bunch of schmucks? No, they feed it in on the wing. Are they going to get anything? Let's get some guys back in the box. De Vrij, we got that three-headed beast of De Vrij, Skriniar, and Godin. We are going to be solid at the back this year. We pull off the one nothing win. First game of preseason. That's the way we want to start the season. Very happy to be back doing this again, guys. I have a lot of fun with it. Um, I'm definitely going to post every day this week and keep up with it. Like and subscribe if you if you want to. If not, that's cool too. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm really happy to be back. Have a good one, guys.